Locked it. What a ninny you are, Harry. What is it that you want me to do, Quentin? Where is the bottle, Quentin? you didn't want Amy to hear. Well, I won't do it, Quentin. Chris is Amy's brother. I can't do anything to hurt him. I don't know why you want to. He's never done anything to you. Quentin, don't you understand? That's wrong. I won't do it for you. I won't. I won't. He almost told everything. But a little while ago, she promised me that, that she wouldn't tell anyone our secret if you'd promise her something. You have to promise not to hurt Chris in any way. Will you do that, Quentin? I don't want to see him hurt either. Will you do that? I know. He, he's expecting you. I, I have the information he, he, he asked for. Oh, I guess he'll be very pleased. Why don't I bring it out then, dear me, dear me, dear me, yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I drive past Collingwood on my way home. I'll tell him. Uh, 
I'll bring the ledger too. Uh, yes, it has the name of the purchaser. I don't know how I could have forgotten that medallion. Why, yeah, it was one of the first pieces I made myself. I'll be there soon. You had no right to do that. No right at all. What do you want? I have to... I have to tell Barnabas. He's, a, he's expecting Mr. Braidway. I have to tell him. What do you want? What? Are you sure that's all you want me to do? Are you telling the truth? You're not going to do anything bad, are you? Do you promise? Don't get mad at me, Quentin. I just don't like it when you do terrible things. You want me to help you. But I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, hello, Mr. Braidway. Oh, of course, young Collins. Oh, well. Now, what's your name? It's David. Ah, David, is it? Well, I don't remember a Collins being named David before. Now, my name is, uh, is Ezra, and my father's was, and his father before him. You find a name like Ezra, and you, you don't give it up. Yes. Well, well, well. I guess not. Yes, I, now David's kind of a newfangled name. No. There's King David in the Bible. Oh, of course, yes, yes. A good man, too. Why do you have two pairs of glasses? One to see people with? and want to see things. Are those your thin glasses that you have on now? Well, I'm not looking at a person, am I? When you get to my age, you need two of everything. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, gadgets like this, spare parts, are mighty handy. You know, my father made this. He had a way with candlesticks, no denying that. Can you see me now? Well, 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 uh, of course I can tell you're there. Why, my, my, you're a curious boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just never seen anyone with two pairs of glasses before. I thought when you get old, you, you wear bifocals. Oh, it wouldn't even catch me with them. No, no. No, no, you go and get your Uncle Barnabas. Oh, he's my cousin. Yes, tell him I have the record that he wants. And, um, and, uh, the t yes, tell him that, that I have the records he wants, yes. I will, sir. Yes, yeah. Ah, this is one of ours, too. Oh, you Collinses, I swear you have more silver than the shop does. of ours, they must have picked that up in the city, though they would have been better off with us. Remember it by the time I got here? 
Oh, here it is. Hmm. April 16, 1897. Ezra Braithwaite, your mind's like a rock slide. Never know what part is going to go next. Oh, Mr. Collins. No, of course, you aren't Barnabas Collins. You must be his friend. Yes, well, I got that information you and Mr. Collins wanted about the pentagram. Uh, yes, you should have remembered it first thing. I, I must tell you a little story on myself. I, uh, I, uh, I made that pentagram myself. Yes, sir, first thing, first piece of silver I made. Uh, uh, when I was 15 and a half years old, I even engraved that quotation on the back. Uh, now, why would a man like me forget the first piece of silver jewelry he made? <laughs> yes, but it's all down here. Oh, Ezra. Ezra. You already got on your reading glasses. My own handwriting hasn't improved much either, has it? And one starred medallion, hmm, engraved with quotation, to guard you from the wrath of Severus. Ordered by Miss Beth Chavez and charged to the Count of Quentin Collins. Well, now that I have all of this information for you and Mr. Collins, you'll be very happy. Uh, he said it was quite important, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 I don't believe I, I got your name. Why? Who are you? I know you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Only, only I, 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 I. Yes, you're, you're Quentin Collins. But you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Barnabas. Now wait, David. You must help us with Amy. All you have to do is tell us is what's wrong down here. It's important. I've been trying to tell you something. Mr. Braithwaite's downstairs, waiting for you. He is? Yes, he telephoned earlier. And I was on my way up here, but, but everything started happening. He has some book for you to see, too. Well, we'll finish our conversation on the way down, David. Come along. Braithwaite and I have some business to discuss. It's time for you to go to bed anyway. Oh, but I'm waiting up for my father. But in this storm, David, his plane may be late. Braithwaite. I guess he's falling asleep. Mr. Braithwaite. No! Don't come in here, David. No! What's happened? Go upstairs and get Dr. Hoffman. What happened? Do as I say, David. Get Julia!
scared. I don't want to scare people away from this house. I don't want to be all alone with you either. Don't be mad, Quentin. It's just that I don't want to play the game anymore. Neither does Amy. Please, Quentin. Don't be mad. Please. No, Quentin. Please. Please. Ha, ha, ha.